These are some insane coincidences involving 9-11. Seth MacFarlane and Mark Wahlberg were both booked to fly on American Airlines Flight 11, the first plane that crashed into the World Trade Center. But Wahlberg decided last minute to fly to Toronto instead, while MacFarlane missed the flight by 10 minutes due to a hangover. In August of 2000, the band Dream Theater recorded a live studio album called Live Scenes from New York. The album cover art features the New York City skyline with the Twin Towers on fire. And most disturbingly, the album was released on September 11, 2001. Before 9-11, FBI counterterrorism expert John O'Neill urged the federal government to take the threat of Al-Qaeda more seriously. But he was eventually pushed into early retirement due to disagreements with the FBI. He went on to become the head of security at the World Trade Center where he was killed on 9-11.